Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to continue on the main quest. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully these are all potions. Farewell. <laughs> This ends now. Forgive me. Hopefully this is a regular potion. It is. Awesome. They're throwing a bunch of potions at us, so pretty sure we're going to be going into a fight soon. Like a big fight is what I mean. You're finished. Numbers aren't everything. Oh, where's the mage at? Down here. Is that last guy at? Oh, way over there. Tor Torgal got him. Mm, looks like we can go over there. Looks like we got a boss fight, too. Not what I was expecting. Already, too slow. Nice try. Nice try. Yeah. 
Are we going the right way? I don't know. Seems like I'm backtracking. But maybe not. Once we step onto that bridge, we'll be easy targets. Then we better move quickly. Let us press on. That was easy. More of Ultimus thralls. Come on, then. What are you waiting for? Strike true. It's over. Seem like they're a little weak. I mean, not complaining, but they do seem a little weak. Through the castle, then. I don't see any other way. I know, there's like 20 different ways to go. Just trying to figure out the right way. Enough of you, are there? Enough! Fine display, brother. Ultima's corruption knows no bounds. We cannot allow it to spread any further. And we won't. Give me! To me!
Sweet. Level 45. Is there a chest over here? Kinda looked like it. Almost 10 levels ahead of some of this stuff. Joshua, we're not done yet. I got all my potions back. Fine display, brother. Okay, no, there wasn't anything back over there. Ah, uh, these fucking guys. Uh, Clive? Of course there's more. There's always fucking more. Too slow. Garuda! This is our chance. That's best. your strength for the mother crystal. Concentrate. 
What must it have eaten to grow so big? You don't want to know. Who's the fucking mage? Garuda! Forgive me. Give me thunder! It's over! Farewell! Nice try. If I can keep him staggered, it'd be all right. Bloody armies here. Stand back, Joshua. I'm summoning a freight. Stop, Clive. You mustn't. We still have a long way to go. If you tap your strength here, you'll have none left to destroy the heart. Then you'd rather die?
<laughs> Surprised to see us. How did you...? Gav. He told us exactly where you'd be. Even sniffed out a crack in the castle wall. And when we saw the heavens come crashing down, we had no choice but to believe him. <laughs> it's been quite a day. <laughs> so what do we owe this honor? A debt I would see repaid. Prince Dion. It's good to see you well. So, this must be Ifrit. Your uncle bade me give you a message. Listen to your heart. It will guide your steel true. Your father would expect no less. That is all. Thank you. For everything. Your Highness. Dion, please. You do realize the only thing we've freed so far is this wall from its foundations, right? Now, if your lord and ladyship's uh, quite finished... <laughs> well said, Gaff. We have work to do. But don't suppose there's out I can say to make you change your mind. So I'll just tell you to stay safe. Nan won't take kindly to losing her best customer, especially after letting us carry all this stuff all the way to Ash. And we wouldn't want to anger old Nan. You mean, you'll buy some of us? Oh, yeah. Welcome to Goots's Toll. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know. I know I need some potions. Is there how else you need? Right on, here you go. How else I can do for you? Anything else I can make for you? We still can't go to our map. So I guess we continue forth. You see, Clive, we're not alone. If we are to win the day, we must all play our part. And ours. Ours lies beyond those doors. We fought long and hard for this moment. Sid's dream, our dream, is within our grasp. We need only endure this final trial, and we shall, together. You all know what it is that awaits us beyond this gate. And we shall face it together. Aye. Mm. Mm. It seems our hosts would rather we remain. I will stay them. We will stay them. Go! Just don't keep us waiting. Thank you. You. Welcome, sons of fire. Yeah. <laughs> 
Joshua! Joshua! Wake up! Clive, is that you? This... This isn't stone here. Welcome to our darkness. A rift between worlds wherein your kind might reflect. Show yourself! Grave and many are the sins of man. And we would have you know them. All of them. As fate has seen fit to deliver you home, consider this our welcoming gift. Hmm. It would seem we are trapped. And the only way out is through Ultima. We find him and we leave. Well, at least we bought some potions before we came in here. And uh, they mentioned Leviathan um, earlier. And I have a feeling that little girl is the dominant of Leviathan. Just a theory. If you are to comprehend the full extent of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. When the world was still young, we visited upon it a miracle, magic, and in its light did all life flourish. Yet the price for this boon would prove heavy. A pall descended upon the land, painting the horizon black as night. Though we labored to forestall its spread, in this one endeavor, we stood powerless. And so we fled, that we might endure, endure, that we might discover a means of salvation. But if it was magic that caused the blight, what of the Mother Crystals? I expect he'll tell us soon enough. Salvation, alas, was not readily to be had. First, we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us, one beyond the limits of our fleshly bodies, and so we cast them off. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. A land as pure as driven snow, 
Valisteer. There would the true work begin, for the black crept yet behind us. And soon did we arrive at a solution, the illness having spread to every organ. There was but one escape from this fate, to start afresh. With a new world, the one for which Barnabas labored, a paradise free from the blight where his god awaits, and where, if we only forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear, humanity can join him. So, Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king. And follow we shall. For now. I don't think Ultima is a god. I just, I don't know, maybe he is. I'm just being stupid. strong enough to wield it. Acquiring the first would be simple. Untouched by the blight, Valisthea was replete with ether, and we had only to place jewels in her crown to claim it. Acquiring the second, however, demanded creativity. And so I cast forth the seeds of humanity. You created us. Is that not what gods do? We sowed the seeds for you, Muthos, all that you might one day blossom. And our future thus secured, we thought to slumber, though that would prove a grave mistake. For it was as we slept that man committed his greatest sin, he awoke. Alone in a world bereft of his God's radiance, he stumbled blindly, desperate for guidance. Finding no light, he sought to kindle his own. And from that single errant impulse was his will born. Having discovered himself at last, man turned his eyes inward and found he desired evermore that which only magic might afford. So wars were waged and brothers slain for custody over that dwindling resource and the land she wept tears of black. He would condemn us for this. Surely he cannot be so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind, just unwilling to admit the truth. Though we're one and the same. Is that 
Ifrit, or what's left of him. Long have our ashes lain cold for want of a spark. Cast your eyes upon them and see what you must become. Valisthea cannot endure a second claim upon her being. The avarice of man drives her ever closer to destruction, but she may yet be saved by you. It is what you were born to do, why we nursed you and fed you as your own mother should have. And now that you are fully grown, our Muthos, it is time at last for you to serve your purpose. To right your wrongs. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? We only ever require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! What? That is where you are mistaken. You own nothing but your precious will. Brother. I can't do this alone. And you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. Now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience. My friends, my family, we have all suffered, all fought to survive. This world may be flawed, it may be broken, but it's all we have. And if we can't share it, I see only one other choice. You have to go. You may have created us, Ultima. But it's time we lived on our own terms. This isn't your world anymore. It's, it's us. us. Bow down, offenders, hearts bestained. <laughs> Huh. Nice try. Ah. 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 
Ow. Not sure we're going to be able to win this. Repent. Garuda. Come on. Focus, brother. Such foul intent may not be sublimed through gain standing. Only with heads hung low is penance paid. O oh, wretched mortals incapable even of contrition. In fitting season shall we reap our harvest. Wow. Know your insignificance. <laughs> Repent. <laughs> now we... <laughs> We will unmake Save some for yourself. Damn, he's tough. Gifted this chance, and still you would raise your hand against the Lord. 
What now? The darkness bends. He... He means to end us. It wouldn't be the first time. But let's make it his last. Your fate is inexorable. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Surrender it unto Holy us. Holy shit, dude. Kneel before us. For you, brother. Nice try. Surrender. Prostrate yourselves. I needed that. That's better. Items real fast. Nice I like to get out of this. I like to get out of this. Yield. Nice try. doubt that is the end of Ultima. There's no fucking way. Do is hard. At last, for countless generations, have we awaited this moment. Ooh. 
Your struggles have made you strong, yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. Tell me, Clive, how many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These... these are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring all they will ever bring is death. There's no atoning, Clive. No, no matter, matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? Leave it all behind. Please, won't somebody save me? Won't anybody love me? I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? From will is born desire. And it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Just... Clive! None of this is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. Brother. Remember who you are. Clive.
once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look, Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched, and the phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless... He has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? Are you still talking? This is no mere evolution, it is deviation. And here from does Logos rise. Damn it, Clive. Wake up. That... That... Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave. This place... It... stray from the path laid before it. Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken? And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos, soon you will discover how little you know of suffering. And so the crystals are no more. Yet in their silence, a new song rings. Its chorus 
building. A crescendo as it enters its final movement. Stirring those long a slumber to waking. And back to their origin. Bloody crystals cracked. So where the hell are they? Oh, fuck me. Is that... ether? What in good Grieg's name is going on? This is wrong. Are we back? Clive! Joshua! Jill! Is everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Mate! We're leaving! Now! Everyone, fall back to the ship! I will be with you, Anon. Thank you. Okay, let's go back to the hideaway, and then I'm sure we're going to have another cutscene, and after that, we'll end the video. I need to tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine, and I'm going to need Otto's help. Okay, I guess we're not going to have a cutscene. That's good. Uh, this has been quite a long video, but I want to tell everybody thank you for sticking around and watching it. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.